Now, from the studios of Into Tomorrow in Miami, this is ITTV. Our next guest is with a premium media streaming company with products and solutions that are evolving the frontier of digital out of home. I mean, that all sounds fascinating and we're always grasping for more cool stuff. The chief product officer and co-founder of a company called Loop Media is Liam McCallum. Liam, welcome into tomorrow. Thanks for spending a couple of minutes with us. How are you doing? Fantastic. Thank you. It's a pleasure to have you with us. Uh, tell me a little bit, if you would, first about uh, Loop uh, Media. What is the company? And then let's get into some of the things that uh, we can chat about today. Sure, sure. Well, Loop is a media company. Uh, we stream TV channels to both businesses uh, and homes. So when you walk into a hard rock cafe and you see music videos playing, that's us. Uh, when you turn on the TV and watch a movie trailer channel, that's most likely us as well. Very cool. And apparently that's us, or you, <laughs> behind you. Uh, so is this just that's one right. of your channels that you've chosen to, to throw up uh, on, on your virtual background at this point and kind of give us an idea of some activity? Huh? <laughs> that's it. That's it. So music video channels are our forte. Uh, we've been streaming uh, music videos into businesses for the last couple of decades. Uh, and, you know, we've just recently migrated to in the house to, for, for consumers. Very good, because I think MTV, that's supposed to be music television for decades, right. uh, kind of gave that up, did they not? I mean, when do you see a music video on MTV anymore? It's usually reality nonsense or, or you know, some other stuff that you might be able to catch, but it's rare that you get an actual music video, and that's what you specialize in. That's right. So, you know, we, um, we specialize in linear channels, what MTV, I guess, used to be. Yeah. Uh, we, we've had a couple of deals recently with, you know, TiVo and Plex and Gas Station TV uh, to put these music video channels um, back on the airwaves. And I would imagine that especially during this COVID pandemic, uh, your business model, maybe certainly the streaming space in general, has changed dramatically. Has it changed a lot for you guys? Are you, you finding that you're streaming different kinds of content or just more of it? You know, we, we had a couple of uh, opportunities to really rethink how we did things during COVID because you might not know, but uh, Loop uh, is into businesses. So 90% of our business are bars and restaurants. So oh. the first thing we did was, uh, you know, look at that relationship with our businesses and, and venues are obviously doing it very tough right now. Uh, if they're open at all, they're looking at ways to slash as many costs as possible. Uh, so we decided to launch a free ad supported service. So venues can run their music videos and, and digital signage absolutely free. Uh, it also gave us the opportunity to really look at direct to consumer. Uh, we hadn't done that before. Uh, we've recently just got the music video licenses, which is super tough yeah. uh, to go direct to consumer. So those same music videos can now be enjoyed at home. Terrific. And, and great that you mentioned that as well. Was it also a, a kind of demand or major request from a lot of consumers that said, hey, I've seen your content in my favorite bar or restaurant back in the day when I could go. Um, and, and, you know, how do I get that? You know, I, I love the music videos, uh, even if they're playing in the background, but, you know, it certainly gets your attention. Uh, was it by request even or public demand that you said, you know, why aren't we doing it for consumers? And now you are. That's right. That's right. So the customers would walk in. Uh, they really wanted to bring these channels home. And so a lot of our businesses have their own unique channels. They can program their own uh, brand, if you will. So if you walk into a, a Margaritaville, it might be a very different music video experience than a Texas Roadhouse. Uh, and the customers wanted to bring that brand with them back home. And so that's why we launched a mobile app so you can scan the QR code up on the TV and bring that playlist home. You must know that a Margaritaville is right up the street from us because we're in Miami and Excellent. Hollywood is certainly one of the popular ones. Do you, do you see the role of, of music videos changing as we head further into tomorrow? Or again, more of the same, but just the fact that you've got a lot more opportunity now? Um, you know, it's, I wouldn't say changing. I think it's more about rediscovery. Mm -hmm. So I think that the industry in general is betting big on what we call short form content. Yep. You know, people are looking for bite-sized entertainment that they can tune in and out of really quickly. 
uh, and music videos, I think, are the original short form content. In fact, um, a lot of the folks uh, that are probably enjoying your music videos these days don't even know about MTV and how it started as music videos. It's like, oh, really? Exactly. They used to play them? You know, it's like somebody that says, you know, oh, George Harrison with, was with a group before the Beatles? You know, I mean, <laughs> what? You know, but you hear that from, from some younger folk. Uh, so you're really kind of helping them discover this whole genre of what music videos are all about. And it's not just, yeah, go to YouTube and play one at a time one of your favorites or even build a playlist um, you're building the playlist for them well exactly I, I mean i think we're the only dedicated music video experience in terms of just a standalone app you've got audio apps of course you've got spotify and apple music but there's no just dedicated uh, music video experience mm -hmm. and like you mentioned to date youtube has been the only way to watch music videos uh and people when they really want to sit down and, and watch it actively or put it in the background passively, they don't want a funny cat video to come after a, their favorite playlist, <laughs> yeah. right? They Exactly. And you mentioned, of course, you're, you're now doing an ad supported thing. So you yeah. may have to tolerate a, a couple of ads here and there, but it's like radio. You know, you're not paying for it. Uh, the commercials support us and our advertisers exactly. bring the content to you. Uh, so it's the same sort of thing. People not only tolerate it, but maybe get to learn something about a new product or, or can react to a product that they hear on a commercial. And in this case, get back to their music videos as well. But it's a lot more, as I understand understand at Loop TV than just music videos, too. I'm, I'm seeing on your website Hollywood trailers, uh, college sports, hilarious viral videos. So, I mean, you've got a lot of different content that I guess folks can pick and choose from. And that's really from demand uh, in the venues, in the businesses. Uh, sometimes they might have just audio playing. They might have the big game playing uh, mm -hmm. when sports was, was a thing. Yes, uh, right. When there were but, games that were even worth exactly. watching. Yeah. <laughs> But, but most venues have you know, multiple TV screens. If you walk into some sports bars, they, they've got 20 TV screens. Yeah. Uh, and so they're looking for content to, to run on their second screen or their third screen. And those viral videos are fantastic. Sometimes you walk in and, and, and the, the game might be on, but everyone's looking at these funny viral videos in, sure. in between. Yeah. Uh, trailers are, are great for, I think, more of our at-home customers. They just like to turn on the trailer channel and see what's playing. Uh, and we've recently done a deal with a company called Airbus that um, uh, shoots drone footage, mm. uh, which is, again, so it's not just bars and restaurants. It's really anywhere, any venue, uh, nail salons and spas and, and medical offices, pretty much anywhere that there's a TV screen that needs content, we've gone out and sourced that content for them. So like the one that you mentioned, drone videos, is this uh, where they're just kind of flying over various landscapes and so forth, letting folks enjoy uh, those kinds of views, you know, a bird's eye view of something? No, absolutely. And it depends on the location. So uh, if it's a spa, then obviously there'll be um, waterfalls and, yeah. and nature Nice things. and mellow uh, things. Yeah. That's right. That's yeah. right. If it's a uh, a restaurant that that uh, is more active, then maybe it's snowboarding and uh, surfing, that type of thing. Oh, very cool. And it's great that that content is not only available, but becoming more and more available. People are getting very creative these days, as I'm sure I don't have to tell you and your team, because you're <laughs> able to cull this information and, and the various video content uh, available. Right. Um, and you mentioned some uh, a partnership. I know you've done other recent partnerships uh, to make things even more available for folks. We've done partnerships, again, with uh, Duke and Media for the viral videos, um, drone videos, trailers, uh, Pac-12 Sports. You know, hopefully they get back up and running again. But, uh, yeah, we, we're trying to partner with as many people as possible. And uh, the trailers, uh, some people might be listening and saying, really? I mean, there's like a channel where you can just watch movie trailers? Yeah, and people do. You know, they it's do. amazing it, whether or not they just want to share, hey, we've got to see this when it's available finally, or when the movie comes out, or when we can actually go back to the theater and eat popcorn at the same time, or, or whatever. <laughs> but the point being is that a lot of people, uh, and the movie companies have, have gotten smart over the last couple of years, too, with making the trailers a little longer, a little more of the story. 
And I think that helps, too. I mean, you've got to do 30 or 60 seconds for a TV spot, but they can do three or four minutes on a nice trailer for something like your movie trailer channel. And you see a lot more content. Uh, hopefully the movie's as good as the trailer, you know, that old thing. But, <laughs> but I guess you have found that folks want to see that stuff and they, they don't get tired of it. Some people put it on in the background, uh, just on, on, on the TV and, and run it. We see all day sometimes. Sure. Uh, sometimes they just tune in to see, see what's, what's happening. It's not just the movies. It's yeah, Netflix and Hulu and the other platforms as well. Yeah. You talk uh, about indie artists uh, facing some mm -hmm. challenges these days. Uh, what are those challenges and, and how can folks help? Uh, I've always said for many, many years, especially uh, years ago, we've been on the air for 25 years. And early on when we were talking about don't pirate your best group's music or your favorite artist's music because you want to support them. If you like their music, you like what they're doing then don't steal their, their content, right? Uh, is that one of the issues that, that you find, especially indie artists, are, are having some difficulty with these days? I think all artists are having difficulty during COVID. Uh, the, the major artists we see are delaying a lot of uh, output right now. Obviously, they can't tour. Uh, the indie artists, I think, uh, have been a little bit more resilient. They're used to just pumping out... Uh, content on, on, on a more regular basis. And, and Luke, really, we, we always have and we always will support the indie artist. Uh, we're all about the indie. Uh, we're all about the exposure of the indie artist. We feature them in our app, in our TV channels. Um, we run quarterly virtual concerts for them. Nice. Uh, we play their music in Luke business venues. But I think uh, most importantly, we put our money where our mouth is and pay multiple times more than YouTube does. Yeah, well, there you exactly. And, well, and that means there's hope, uh, even in the pandemic scenario, for more indie artists uh, to say, sure. hey, loop.tv is where I want to go because they are supporting us more so than others. And, and I think what you're doing is awesome. I hope you keep it up. And of course, loop.tv, uh, for those watching, you've seen that because it's on the screen the whole time. But uh, Loop Media, the chief product officer and co-founder, Liam McCallum, thanks for spending a few minutes with us. And uh, lo we'll look forward to getting you back soon. I'm sure you'll be doing more unique things. Uh, and not that I have 20 TVs in my living room, but it's nice to know you have a nice variety of content. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. It's our pleasure. Again, loop.tv for more information. We'll get you there when you hit us up at intotomorrow.com. I'm Dave Graveline. We continue bringing you further into tomorrow right here on the Advanced Media Network.